Hello, welcome back to Eclectic Kalu. My last video was pretty pessimistic and not nice. <laughs> it was about paradoxical communication and, and I feel I didn't give options and things that you can use and, you know, things to do and understanding of that you have power in this and that you can do things to protect yourself from this type of communication. Since I think you know that gray rock means being uninteresting, completely gray and not fun, not giving supply to the narcissist and not giving any emotion, not reacting to the accusations. And I thought it would be interesting to see why this works. Gray rock works because the narcissist dynamic with the victim or the target of abuse works like this. They want the victim to be the bad guy, okay, always. And so they do this because they need this dynamic in order to survive, psychologically, let's say. And so they have at least two objectives and one is to transfer all their own inner conflicts, their own inner conflicts to the victim. And when they do that, they, they experience a relief, right? Because the victim uh, makes their own miseries, their own mediocrity, and their own lack of uh, qualities, good qualities, evident. So the victim is admired by the perverse narcissist actually. If the perverse narcissist doesn't admire the victim, then they wouldn't be with the victim because they need the admiration in order for them to be with a person like that. So they need to admire them. And so the victim makes it very clear, pretty obvious that their mediocrity is there, right? They're not who they claim to be, okay? And so they, they make this, um, the victim makes this distance between who they claim, claim to be and who they really are very much um, like clear for people. And so they need to devalue and uh, put the victim in a role of being the bad one, okay? And so that's the first objective. The second objective is to lean on the victim to make themselves feel more okay more than and so to revalue their self-image because deep inside they know it's not like that it's like the, that's the full self so they need the victim to to make them feel as if they are more than better and that and such so that's the power that the the perverse narcissist takes from the victim, okay, takes, he's a, he's a taker, she's a taker, they take, they take, they take, narcissistic supply, and so um, that's what they do, they take. Interestingly enough, many times they make people believe that they are givers, okay, and this is why it's difficult for the target of abuse to discern, right? what's going on. It's interesting to see why the gray rock technique works because um, when you stop giving supply, narcissistic supply, stop reacting to what the narcissist is accusing you of or saying and etc, they lose power over you. They lose the power to control you and so they lose and then it's kind of funny to see <laughs> how narcissists start reacting to what you're saying. So if you say very politely, you say, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I don't agree with what you're saying really. No, uh-huh. Oh, so you think I'm this and that and this and that. Oh, okay, okay. You have a right to think that way. And then they are completely uninterested in what you have to say because there's no supply there. There's no narcissistic supply. So they lose interest and that's perfect because that's exactly what we want, right? So I thought this was interesting to see why this works, right? Because of the structure of the personality. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions, please leave them down below and 
I will make a video about that, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.